As we come to the end of this series, our desire for you is that you'll continue to grow and become better in your relationships. So much has been covered in this series in an attempt to get you started in the right direction. Wherever you are in relationship, how far you have gone into your relationship should not stop you from desiring to improve on how you do relationships. Amen. Give yourselves the opportunity to grow and do better from glory to glory. Learn from the word of God and also learn from great examples around you. Desire excellence in the area of relationships. Do not allow the lies of the enemy keep you stagnant. Amen. For the purpose of concluding on this series, I'll do a brief recap of all that has been covered. We began by rediscovering, re-establishing, and understanding our place in context of relationship. And the highlight of that teaching was that it was for the purpose of relationship that God created us, and that relationship is His idea. So let's learn how to do relationships better by relating with Him first. We said relationship is spiritual, therefore the Word of God provides the necessary tools to help us handle relationships in a godly and knowledgeable manner. Amen. We went further to look at 10 possible questions a person should consider asking themselves with answers from scriptures before getting into any relationship. Then we later examined a few Bible characters who demonstrated kingdom approach in relationship. Amen. In the next series, we will attempt to look at our Father from a relational perspective, learning from Him relational traits that will enlighten us and help us approach relationships better. Amen.